Hey folks, this is Matt Chat, and this is my plywood canoe building adventure. It was supposed to be a cheap two-week project, but instead it took a couple of months. I ended up building two canoes, built a canoe carrying dolly, a boat rack for my truck, and a hanging system for canoe storage. I made tons of mistakes and probably would have given up if it weren't for the money I had already spent. It became an amazing adventure, all for a canoe I wasn't sure I was going to use. Good morning. Yesterday, uh, all I was able to do was work on my center thwart, which I had decided to replace. So this is what I came up with. Um, much uh, more solid piece of wood. Uh, certainly something I can grasp uh, properly. Uh, a bit heavier, twice as heavy at least. Uh, but I guess I, weight is not that much of a consideration anymore. Uh, but it certainly won't break and it doesn't look weak. Uh, that was one of the things. The other one, though it may have been strong, it looked like it was going to break if you sat on it. So uh, I figure, may as well leave this uh, this one in instead. Uh, but that's what all I was able to do. I had been working on the canoe uh, fairly solid for many days, and it sort of crashed. Um, just my situation. I, I physically I have uh, limits and <laughs> pushing them with the canoe uh, and uh, yesterday was just I had reached that limit I just could not do anymore I had to rest and sleep in the afternoon <laughs> I just really couldn't do anymore so today I'm feeling a bit better not much but a bit so I'm going to try to take it easy and uh, just move along and uh, get a few other things done I'd like to get uh, the thwart back on or onto the boat uh, uh, today and, and glued on. I'm also ready for installing the keel and I haven't quite figured out exactly how I'm going to do that yet. So there's some work to be done there. Uh, but both of those projects are opposite each other. This one's on top, the keel's underneath. And both require glue and once, it's, once the glue's on I don't really want to move them. Uh, so, I think I have to do these projects on separate days. So if I do this today, I should have another project that I work on, which I have. I have several other projects I could do uh, uh, around the canoe that don't relate to moving the canoe itself. So that might be what I'll do because uh, maybe a change of pace might be good. Because I do need to build the, um, the dolly for the canoe. And I saw a video where the guy built the dolly out of uh, white plastic pipe that he bought at uh, the local hardware store. But for me, I don't... I thought about doing that, and I actually thought I might have enough uh, ABS pipe. Uh, I have a lot of lengths, um, but uh, I don't have enough connections, and I figured well, I could go out and buy them. But then I thought about it, and I said, well, I could also build it out of wood. Uh, I do have a lot of wood here, and I even have some uh, a fair amount of dowel, some substantial dowel, in fact. So uh, I could use that to uh, build myself some type of uh, some type of dolly for the canoe. Um, I have a lawnmower whose tires, uh, which uh, tires I could take off and use for this dolly, and see how that goes. Bicycle tires seem to me to be a better idea because they have a bigger diameter and will overcome small hills and bumps on wherever you're going because it's not guaranteed that you're going down the smooth slope to the water. Uh, there could be some bumps or sand even or something like that um, where the wheel would just dig into the, the door. And, and I would figure that a bicycle wheel would handle that better. Unfortunately, um, I don't have bicycle wheels, so I think that my solution for that is to do it this way, but if, if the, the, with the smaller tires, if that really doesn't work, I can always switch the tires to bicycle wheels. I'll just anticipate that and set it up so that it's wide enough that I put on bicycle wheels, the wheels won't bother or hit the canoe or something like that. Anyway. That's for this afternoon here, if I get this on and I have the energy to do that. Anyway, so on with it, let's see if we can install this thing. It's going to be a bit of a challenge. 
I also managed to install this and glue it on and I'm not sure about the results. So as you can see, I installed some glue, some thickened up glue over here as a backing for the bent wood piece at the front. Now this is probably strong enough to uh, uh, ram another ship and break it uh, now because of the, <laughs> the strength I've added to this thing and the boat is solidly held together, will not fall apart in any way for any reason at all. However, I don't know about the look of this. I mean, when I did it, I, I felt I was inspired. I thought this is a great idea. It'll fill it in. And, but now I see it hides the wood and I'm not sure how to deal with that or if I have to accept it or what. So I'll have to keep thinking about that. Um, this piece had slipped a bit after I set it in the glue and uh, it was off center, but I managed to bring it back by sanding it. Uh, on one side more and less on the other side so so just bring it back to a center shape because it was a bit wide, eh? wider um, I've looked at it it feel it looks fairly centered on the canoe and I think uh, and the other side is, is much better the other side is um, quite centered I haven't worked on it yet it's still in the rough shape so anyways we'll think about this and see what we can do uh, down here uh, this spot is ready to be connected to the keel which will continue along to the other end and uh, So the two will merge together and I'm going to also merge the shapes of the wood together So that uh, they end up looking like essentially one piece and uh, allowing uh, water flow to go through uh, Which is one thing uh, here. I, I a part of me wants to make this pointed so that it can cut through the water fairly well which most canoes are like that. They have a fairly narrow, narrower than this uh, front. However, uh, I think about the, the impact of the canoe on, on the beach and on rocks and that type of thing. And I'd want a fairly wide thing because if it's too narrow, it'll just crunch in. Even though this feels hard like cement, I suspect a rock might have a different uh, uh, story when uh, they came to here to get instead of my fist. This feels quite solid. But. Anyway, so some of the uh, issues left to deal with. But I'm going to wait until uh, I add the piece on top to shape that to decide on a final shape for this. And I'm going to wait until I have the keel installed to decide really what I'm going to do with these things. I can say it's on both sides of the boat, so uh, whatever problem it is that I'm going to have to deal with, whatever technique, uh, if I do anything at all, um, I'm going to have to do it on both sides. So, all right, anyways, on to installing the thwart. I've been quite baffled about how to mark the angle of the canoe here for the cut on the uh, on the thwart on the center and uh, I've had uh, three times now I've tried it and failed all of them uh, so um, after talking with uh, my girlfriend's father and whatnot we came up with the idea of using this uh, good old compass it took me a while to remember where these were they were here in the garage, but I went looking through the entire house to find them. And then eventually realized that they were hanging here in the in a neat peg right here in my garage. Anyway, so I haven't used one of these in years, can't compasses, but here's an exact purpose for it. So this is how I'm going to get the exact angle of this side. Now I've centered the piece. It's exactly in the center of the canoe, so that's where I want it to be. And I take my, uh, my compass and I put the point of the bottom of the compass on to the area that is about one inch down, about the thickness of this wood down. I put it down and I just touch the wood. And then I touch, touch it right here and make a mark. And then I bring it to the top and repeat the process. I just, oops, I just keep the same angle. And I make another mark. And that, these two little marks, once I draw a line, is, uh, will give me the angle on the side of this canoe. And uh, that should be uh, my problem solved. 
so I got my angle cut on the wood and I have to say I am quite pleased with the results. If we install that in here, it just drops in pretty well flush and it looks like the angle here is a really good fit. I am very happy with that. There is a gap in there. I could probably sand it out because putting it in flush pushes the boat out just a fraction. And uh, so that tells me I'm almost there. But if I did, if I did sand it down, it would uh, fit perhaps closer, but I'd have less room for the glue. So I want to leave that glue because the glue is going to be the, the epoxy paste. So I think that what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put and make mix some epoxy paste right now and uh, glue this down right now and let it dry and it, that'll be it and then I could go on to another project and let that dry and tomorrow I can come back to the canoe and do some more work on it. I can figure out how to make it stronger if I want to do that. I have had the idea of uh, drilling a couple of holes through here um, and putting some dowels straight through some wooden dowels and I could strengthen it like that but I suspect it's going to be strong enough. Uh, there's going to be um, the top pipe part of the gunnel is going to come over it uh, and that's going to be glued all over it so that's going to provide extra strength. So I don't think there's going to be any problem with this holding here. I don't think it'll break off. All right so uh, on we go. I think that's what I'm going to do. Mix up some glue and uh, uh, pretty soon this will be part of the canoe. Just applied some glue to the uh, canoe and now I'm just going to apply some glue to the thwart itself, just making sure that all the surfaces are coated. It's probably going to squeeze out everywhere, but uh, I don't mind that. Jostle the boat. On this side, it's perfect. That's going to be it for this part of my canoe building adventures. I want to thank you for joining in and I want to remind you not to forget to subscribe to my channel uh, and uh, hopefully you'll uh, we'll find a lot of progress in the next episode. Uh, see you soon.